Number 79, what is the peak power consumption of a 120 volt alternating current microwave oven that draws 10 amps? All right, so to find the peak power, I'm gonna label this P sub P. Sometimes they call it P sub O. I don't like that, but I call it peak power. P sub P is gonna be equal to the peak current multiplied by the peak voltage. Now, if they don't tell you that these are peaks, all right, they're just giving you 120 volts and draws 10 amps, assume that that means root mean square. All right, so the RMS, voltage is equal to 120 and their root mean square then current is equal to 10. Now we have to know the relationship between root mean squares and the and the reason why this is the case is because they're telling us alternating current. All right this is only coming up root mean square stuff is when you're dealing with alternating current. So now um, if they had just asked what's the power consumption you wouldn't even do any of this just plug in the values 120 times 10 because they're going to be basically assuming that you're calculating average power. But since they want to peak, this is how we got to do it. So the root mean square current is going to simply be equal to the peak current divided by root of 2. Now that's the same exact formula for the voltage. So what I'm going to do, instead of I, just put in a V. What I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to uh, solve for the peak power here. And then I'm just going to plug in a V then, you know, for my substitution when I do it. Watch. So solve this for the peak current. It would just simply be a cross multiplication. In other words, the peak current will be equal to the root mean square current multiplied by the root of 2. So what I'm going to do is take this result now, plug it on in for that. And I realize that I'm going to have then the root mean square current multiplied by root of 2. And now I would do the same thing for the peak voltage, same exact formula, same substitutions or whatever, it would come out to be then the root mean square voltage multiplied by root of two. If you had to clean this, I mean, you could just plug it in now, it really doesn't matter, but you can do root of two times root of two, that's just simply two. And then now plug in your root mean square values that were given in the problem. The hardest part about this is knowing that they gave you the root mean square values. If they don't, like I said, if they don't say their peaks, just assume that they're root mean squares. So this is going to be then times 120. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake while I was talking. So 2 times 10 times 120. 2.4 times 10 to the 3 watts. That's the peak power. Okay. And that is that. Right. All right. And then you would have realized that the average power then is basically just, you know, divide this thing by 2, essentially. All right. Thank, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. All right. Take care.